Hi. How's life at home so far? Do you feel stuck? Can't get out much? Though we don't know when this will end, lockdown too will pass. How about the frontliners? How are you doing? Take care of yourselves. We're rooting for you guys. <sighs> COVID-19, a deadly virus. As the cases continue to rise all over the world, one can't help but get scared and our thoughts can cause us to panic too. What if I get infected? What if I die? Oh no. I know it's not always easy, but calm down. Whether we get infected or not, life is short. We're all gonna die someday. It's inevitable. This is a simple truth. It's not fake news. In fact, there are two kinds of death. First, the physical death. Let's say, for example, you get infected. If your body is unable to recover, your body will die. And inasmuch as it is appointed for men to die once and after this comes judgment. Second, the spiritual death. Now this is so much more serious than COVID-19 because this means eternal separation from God. But for the cowardly and unbelieving and abominable and murderers and immoral persons and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars, their part will be in the lake that burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Have you ever told a lie in your life? Come on, tell the truth. I know, right? Same. And with that, we're all spiritually dead. So, let's say that we don't get infected with COVID-19 and we continue to live on now, but we're spiritually dead. Well, ultimately, we're dead. That is the situation we're all in right now. We are all unworthy in the sight of a holy God because of our sinfulness. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Because of our sin, we all have a price to pay. And what's the cost? For the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. So is that a problem? Uh, yeah, a big one. And it's a much bigger problem than the COVID-19 pandemic. So what's the solution? Hmm, trying to live a good life? Being a good person? Doing good works? Donate face masks and alcohol to the frontliners? Feed the hungry? Try to be religious? Is this enough to make up for my sins? It's a lot of work. But you know what? God says there's only one solution. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. That is how God loves us. He gave us His Son, Jesus. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Since the COVID-19 virus reached our shores, it's done nothing but bring sickness, death, and hardship to us. But Jesus, He came to bring us life, everlasting life. Jesus is the only way for us to be with God. Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. Do you remember the price for our sins? The cost of our sin is death. But there's good news. Jesus paid that price. How? For Christ also died for sins once and for all, the just for the unjust, so that he might bring us to God, having been put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit. He died on the cross and rose again to prove that He is the living God. He laid down His life for all of us, for the forgiveness of our sins, to save us from its eternal punishment. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not as a result of works, so that no one may boast. So we are not saved because of good works. We are saved by God's grace and by placing our faith in Jesus Christ. Now let's say the whole world is swallowed up by this COVID-19 virus and not one of us is spared. You get infected and eventually die. If you didn't place your faith in Jesus while you were still alive, do you think you'll be spared from the spiritual death? We know that what's happening today is scary. But what's even scarier is the eternal destination of souls who are without Christ. 
Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even if he dies. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Now the real question is, do you believe in what Jesus is saying? Are you ready to receive his gift of eternal life? For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Are you ready to turn away from your sins? Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Are you ready to surrender your life to Jesus? These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know that you have eternal life. Now, if you're ready to place your faith in Jesus and commit to follow Him, you can actually tell Him right now by praying this prayer in faith. Lord Jesus, thank you for your great love for me. I admit I am a sinner in need of your forgiveness. Thank you for dying for me on the cross, for paying the price of all my sins. From now on, I accept you as my Savior and Lord. I receive your free gift of eternal life, and I surrender my life to you. Help me to follow and obey you. Amen. Now, if you've placed your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, this is what you have received through grace. You have eternal life with God. Your sins have all been paid for. You are forgiven. You are a new creation in God's eyes. You are a child of God. Our life in this world is only temporary, but in Jesus we can find everlasting life. COVID-19 may have brought us bad news, but placing your trust in Jesus brings good news.